Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are going to be trying the new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse and then also just roaming around and seeing if they have anything new for the month of August. On top of that, I also want to go see the Haunted Mansion and let you guys know what I thought of the movie, give you guys like a little Haunted Mansion movie review. So we're going to eat some cookies, catch a movie and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. It is a beautiful day today in Florida. Definitely a little bit hot out. The temperature's in the high 90s and it's very humid. But look at how amazing the springs look from where I'm standing. Isn't it so beautiful? This is literally the springs inside Disney Springs. I am very excited to go see the Haunted Mansion later on because that is one of my all-time favorite like attractions So I have high expectations and I'll make sure at the end of the video after we see it I'm gonna sit down and give you guys kind of my thoughts on it But first I think we should make our way over to Gideon so we can join the virtual queue if they have one it looks like they're not doing a virtual queue today. They're just doing a standby line. And that long of a line is probably only a 10 minute wait. So we're gonna hop in line and get the cookies. All right, we have the new menu for the month of August and we're gonna go over it in a second. But I wanna point out real quick, Gideon's made some huge changes to the menu. They actually added a larger size for the cold brew. So now you can get either a 16 ounce cold brew or a 24 ounce cold brew. And that is awesome because I love the coffee here. It's always so good. And uh, speaking of coffee, the cookie of the month this month is the peanut butter cold brew cookie, which looks amazing. Here is the character for the month of August. It's Benjamin Falcon. And I love how they give a little backstory. Like uh, right at the top here, it says, we are all capable of wonderful things, but facing the world alone is enough to stifle greatness. Meet Benjamin Falcon, a true hero if his mind would only allow it. And the cookie of the month is the peanut butter cold brew cookie. An overload of flavor combining our peanut butter cookie with our fresh ground decaf coffee bean covered in peanut butter cups and Reese's pieces. And uh, we already talked about the cold brew, so I ended up getting two cold brew. It only keeps getting better and better. Not only do we have two different sizes for coffee, but we have collectible Gideon's Bakehouse tumblers, and I had to buy one. They just came out today, and they said they're flying off the shelves. So I'm so happy I got it, and uh, we've officially got all the goods. So uh, I'm gonna show you everything we got. All right, before we get to the cookie business, we got to talk about these cold brews. So, like I mentioned, you have two different sizes. This is the 16 ounce coffee right here, and it's six dollars. I ended up getting the peanut butter cold brew because I got the special peanut butter cold brew cookie, and I figured they'd go hand in hand. But then you can also get the 24 ounce coffee, which is eight dollars. So, you're paying two dollars more to get what an extra eight ounces and this one I got pumpkin and that's because I'm gonna dump that into my new collectible tumbler that I got from Gideon's I'm gonna open this bad boy up I'm showing you guys this the tumbler cost $35 but it is totally worth it and the, they had two different sizes they had like a, a regular one like for the, the the small coffee and then a large one I ended up getting this one because this one was one of my favorite ones look at that it's like a Halloween tumbler, and it's got the black hat on it. I love this so much. $35, well spent. It comes with a straw and everything. It's got it all in there. I'm very excited. It's time to unwrap the cookie now, and I know it's gonna be a melty mess because it's so hot out, but look at that. There it is, the peanut butter cold brew cookie. And it comes with Reese's Pieces and peanut butter cups on top. Isn't that incredible? There's a squirrel on my foot. I'm not even kidding, look at this. There's a squirrel about to climb up my leg. Isn't that so crazy? Okay, but anyways, yeah. So it's their basic peanut butter cookie with uh, the Reese's Pieces, the peanut butter cups, and then the uh, decaf coffee beans inside of it. So it's cool for people that uh, can't really have caffeine, but still like the taste. And uh, I guess we're gonna dive in. I have never, oh, he's coming up on the table with us. I have never met a friendlier squirrel than this one right here. Holy moly. 
This is literally right out of a cartoon, I feel like. Please don't eat my food. I can't feed the wildlife. Are you leaving? Are you gonna sneak something out of that bag right there? This is... Oh, don't go in that bag. I don't want you to get hurt. You're gonna have to go. Sorry, buddy. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't, no, you gotta go. Even though this is really cool, I can't allow this. No, 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 please, no, don't grab my stuff, please, no, don't grab my stuff, you gotta go, I'm so sorry, please, please, no, no, it's okay. You're gonna have to go get food from somewhere else. No, please. <laughs> You're gonna have to go get it from somewhere else. You can't have this cookie, squirrel. I'm sorry, you can't have this cookie, please. You're gonna have to go somewhere else. We can't feed the wildlife here. Oh, can we at least name him? You guys have no idea how in love I am with that squirrel. I think it's so awesome, but I can't feed it. I know that that's very bad for them. And it reminds me of Gracie when she's like asking for food. And if I know, I don't know what squirrels can eat. I don't even know if squirrels can even eat peanut butter. I want to give Gracie peanut butter. Oh my lord, he's coming back. The squirrel is in front of me again. Like he's on my table, guys. Hold on. He's coming in. Oh my lord, look at this. Get out of my coffee, squirrel. Hey, you can't have that coffee. I don't know what to do. And now he's coming for the camera. No, 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 those are crumbs. Oh, I don't want you to bite me. You can't eat those crumbs. No, I'm taking those. You can't have those, I'm so sorry. I know, I know, I love you. I've never felt so much pressure in my life. Our friend is literally staring at me right now. It's looking, the squirrel is looking into my soul. Okay, I'm getting distracted too easily. Squirrel, we gotta eat this cookie before the squirrel comes back. So here we go. It's already a melty mess here, but I'm picking it up. It's gonna crumble into pieces. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. As soon as I open this, as soon as I crack open this cookie, I have a feeling that squirrel's gonna come back. So we gotta be quick. Oh wow, this is a peanut butter lover's dream right here. So I'm going in. This cookie is so good. I love the Reese's Pieces and I love the peanut butter cups, the hints of coffee. And if you are a peanut butter lover, you're gonna love this cookie. It is just so good. And it probably goes amazing with the peanut butter cold brew. So we're gonna try a little combination here. A little cold brew, a little peanut butter cold brew, a little peanut butter cookie. And I think our friend is gone. I think he's going to find a cookie from someone else. A little bit of the peanut butter coffee. I got it in the small cup because I'm going all big on pumpkin. A little peanut butter coffee. A little peanut butter cookie. The combination is so good. I really, really love the peanut butter overload that I'm having right now. And that's all I got. I only got one cookie. They didn't have any other new ones. They did have the key lime one still there. And they're also doing a lot for the flavors of Florida, which is the event that they have going on. So they still have the orange cold brew. But uh, I guess uh, now I'm gonna dump my pumpkin into my little tumbler here. I got a pumpkin cold brew into a tumbler and I gotta finish this one. Or maybe I should combine them. Have a peanut butter pumpkin cold brew. I don't know if this is madness or if it's gonna be really good, but I'm willing to find out. So first the pumpkin. Oh, it smells so good. And then we're gonna add the peanut butter in there. Not all of it, just a little bit. There we go, just a little bit. Well, 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 we meet again. Looks like uh, someone ended up giving you some food. Oh, what do you got there? It's really not good to feed the animals, especially in Disney. You know what I mean? Because that makes them come up and approach the guests because they're looking for food and it can be very dangerous. But this guy is just so nice. Look at him. I know, oh, did you guys see the way he looked at that camera? You know, I can't tell if mixing the peanut butter and the pumpkin cold brew was a good idea or if I just really love this tumbler. Like, I just love it right now. It's so spooky and Halloween and I think I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna carry this tumbler around with me everywhere. Best $35 ever spent. I wish they put the cold brew in it. You know what I mean? If, they, if, they, if the cold brew came with it, it would make it even better. But I think you have to buy this $35 and then buy a cold brew. But I like it and it's a fancy one too. It's got the good straw. 
Now that I'm in the Halloween spirit after getting my tumbler from Gideon's, I made my way down to Disney style because it looks like they're breaking into the Halloween season already. We've got lots of Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise. Look at the spirit jerseys. Oh, wow. Look, oh, right here's the front of that spirit jersey. The one you see over there, the back, that's the front of it. I love it. And then you got another spirit jersey up here. That one looks cool. A little button up here. Roosevelt's does Nightmare Before Christmas too. I have a couple of them. And then we've got like a zipper up hoodie here. They're probably super uh, like expensive usually. Oh no, $59.99, that's not too bad. Wonder what's on the back. Oh, nothing, it's just that. It's on the sleeve too. Oh man, I can't wait for the spooky season. Oh look, they even have the castle all decorated spooky-ish with skeletons and everything. Look at that, they're getting all ready. They've got everything here. More Nightmare Before Christmas here. And then they even have the dressing rooms all checked out for Nightmare Before Christmas. That got me thinking, if Disney style is already doing Halloween merchandise, then the world of Disney must be too. So we're gonna make our way up to the world of Disney now. And also I'm gonna be talking with my tumbler all day. Or actually, I might put it right in my pocket. Let me see if it fits in my pocket. Yeah, I got a tumbler. I got a, I got a tumbler in my pocket. I got a plunder, a plumber. <laughs> I think August is Disney Princess Month and uh, they're going to be having a bunch of princess like themed treats all around the uh, Disney Springs area but I don't think they're going to start advertising it until the Flavors of Florida end so we'll have to come back and make another video and uh, we made it to World of Disney. Look at that. I've always loved that sign. Isn't it so nice? Well, it looks like Halloween is at the World of Disney. Look at all of the pretty up lighting, the Haunted Mansion merchandise, the Happy Halloween signs. Oh look, it goes all the way back. I see a gigantic Happy Halloween sign back there. Wow, lots of good merchandise. I'm, I'm sure they're gonna go really heavy on the Haunted Mansion because of the movie. Look at this, there's room for one more. That's a fancy spirit jersey. The Hatbox Ghost is gonna be big. I'm so excited to see him in Walt Disney World and in the movie, upcoming movie. I might as well just keep walking to the back now. Look at, there's so much in here. They have like a little area right here that's not Halloween themed, but all back there, that's where it's at. This is so exciting. Look at all of the Halloween decorations. I love the little Mickey candles they have here. Look at this. Wow, how cool is that? These are so nifty looking. They're $40 though. $40 for them. Then we got some signs over here. Oh my Lord. Look at this. Welcome to Halloween night. Wicked and spooky. This is a sign and I'm gonna assume it lights up. I feel like I need to get that. I might have to get this. I don't know how much it is though. Let's see, I'm gonna guess $29.99. Oh, it's $44.99. Oh, that, that escalated quick. I'd still buy it though. I still want it. Oh, and I want this too. Look at this. Oh, I love all of the Halloween decorations. This is nifty. Oh, you can see it outside the box right there. This is cool. See how much this one is. $44.99. Same price as the stand. Oh, there's so much. Oh no, is that a new Mickey pumpkin? What? Look at that. Oh, I think I've seen this one before. I don't know if this is new or not, but that one's $24.99. Oh, it says trick or treat on the back side of it too. All of these, uh oh, is that a new spirit jersey? Oh, I love the coloring in the Walt Disney World. That is amazing. This has gotta be one of my favorite Halloween spirit jerseys to date. I know I can get super excited and pan very quickly, but I try to keep my like uh, excitement in check so that the camera's not all over the place. But I wanna point out that they have the matching spirit jersey for Gracie. They have ones for dogs too. Here's the spirit jerseys for the dogs along with this really cool pajama set. Look at Goofy. I love all the characters dressed up in their best. And then also take a look at the pillow they got over here. Oh, well here's some of the ears, but I wanna show you the pillow. Look at the ears. These are actually really nice. I don't wear ears, but I would wear these ones I feel like. And then this is the pillow right here. Oh, I just love the coloring on all of this merchandise. I don't know what it is. Oh, $44.99. Seems like a lot of it's $44.99. They even have a blanket. Shut up. No way. Look at that. That is too cool. 
I love all the projections they have up there. Look at that, Ghoul's Night Out. And I think that's mini, so it's kind of like a play on Girls' Night Out. Look at this, this is really cool. The only thing they're missing is some uh, Halloween music. I think it would fit in perfectly back here. And then they also have some clothing back here. Look, I like this one. Horrors, Haunts, and Hayrides. Wow, happy Halloween 2023. And then Donald's getting some love right here. We got a Donald shirt. We've got, uh, looks like the Fab Five on that one. A new hat, ooh. I might actually be interested in this hat. Oh no, it's like that foamy material. I don't like that foamy material. I wonder how much this hat is. And what's with that long tag? They're always giving us long tags. Oh, and then they have some more hats here. That's that Donald one that you see there. And this is the Fab Five. Oh, this one is so cool. This little sweater here. This one is uh, $54.99. They also got a backpack. Yep, and uh, I don't think those boots are for sale. But if they were for sale, I'd say they're $99.99. Oh, and then even uh, you can actually get the t-shirt too. Happy Halloween 2023. That one's actually, that's the design that I love so much. Not the biggest fan of that. I wonder how much this one is. $34.99. Guys, they're selling a gigantic Mickey pumpkin for $74.99. I'm in danger. I might end up buying a lot of things and it's only August. Oh boy. Look at this, $74.99. It's totally worth it. I think I'm getting it. Well, that escalated very quickly, and now we kind of have to change things up a little bit. Before I make my way down to AMC to go see the Haunted Mansion, I have to run back to my car and put all of the stuff that I just bought in my car because there's no way I'm taking these into the movie theater. Look at this. And of course, don't worry, once we get home, we're gonna have an unboxing. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I bought. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go see the Haunted Mansion now. I can't take you to go see the Haunted Mansion because uh, you can't film inside the movie theater, but uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. But first, I gotta run out to the car and I got a new Haunted Mansion hat. Look it, and it glows in the dark, woo! <laughs> I couldn't wait. I had to open up the big box and show you guys what was inside. Even though I'm pretty sure a lot of you figured it out once I showed you. I mean, how could I pass up a gigantic Mickey pumpkin for only $70? And, and, and it glows in the dark too. It's huge. Like, it is huge. That was the box over there. I opened it up and I got some other stuff in there. So we're still going to have an unboxing video when we get home. But I also did get this little sign right here. And I like how it lights up in the eyes there. You see that it flickers welcome to halloween night wicked spooky and it's so cool because i i i literally took this out of the box and within a minute somebody came up and was like do you mind if i take a picture and i was like go ahead and they were taking selfies with my mickey pumpkin and i think they thought that disney springs was like uh decorated already and i was like standing in front of it it was so funny but it looks so cool doesn't it but like I said, I have to take it out to the car now and then go head down to AMC and watch the movie and then we'll discuss it afterwards. It's time to head on in for our movie now. And I love coming to AMC at Disney Springs. They always roll out the red carpet with all the Disney movies. Look at this, Haunted Mansion in theaters July 28th and has all the characters. I'm excited to see Danny DeVito. I love him. I remember Twins. You guys remember seeing that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? It was one of my favorite movies growing up. I just got done with the movie and I cannot wait to talk about it. So we're gonna go grab some cupcakes and sprinkles because we can't forget about Gracie Girl. And then we're gonna head home, decorate for Halloween, sit down, discuss the movie, talk about the future and some of the plans I've got coming up and just uh, have a nice little cozy night in. There she is! <laughs> what are you doing, little precious angel? You wanna come for a walk? Are you gonna be afraid? What's up with your ear? Why does your ear look like that? Come here, hold on, let me see that ear. Look at Gracie's ear. What is wrong with your ear? Why is it, is it looped over on the other side? What did you, <laughs> how did you do that to your ear? You silly goose. All right, I am finally home and I gave Gracie her pup cake. We went for a little walk and then I had a change because it was so hot out today. It was so hot and humid at Disney Springs. I switched out. I was wearing a Roosevelt's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt in case you guys didn't notice it. And then I switched out to this shirt because I was wearing this the other day at a baby shower and it was 
color. It was, it was perfect. The colors were perfect. It was pink and blue. Uh, but it's a cool shirt. Let me know if you guys know what movie this is from. It's a Roosevelt shirt, but what movie is this from? It's one of my all-time favorite movies. And speaking of movies, we got to talk about The Haunted Mansion. So, spoiler warning, if you don't want to know anything about this movie, I'm going to put a little timestamp down here, and you guys can skip to that time, and that's when I'll stop talking about it. But, uh, yes, yeah, spoil, spoil, spoiler warning, I'm about to talk about it. Uh, uh, so here we go. I loved The Haunted Mansion. I thought it was a great movie and I loved how they did so much like fan service and Easter eggs. Everything from the music to uh, the pictures, the statues, everything. I was literally sitting in that theater just pointing out things that are uh, like in the actual Haunted Mansion. Everything from uh, the, the ropes to the bats. I loved it. Even as they were getting escorted out of the house in the, the, the chair, it looked like it was the shape of a doom buggy behind her. If you guys seen that one where the hatbox ghost actually sends her out of the house. And speaking of the hatbox ghost, I am so excited to see it come to Walt Disney World. And it, like the hatbox ghost is the main like thing about uh, this movie. Like it, it, the Hatbox Ghost is like the main character. He's the villain. And uh, he's coming to the Walt Disney World Haunted Mansion. Now, I'm not too fond of the placement of it, but I am just happy that the Hatbox Ghost is gonna be here. And I love how the movie went into the backstory of so many characters. And it was great. The music was great. The, uh, the, the humor, I laughed a lot. It wasn't like, it wasn't like a slapstick, like, you know, cheesy, like, punny kind of thing. It was just really clever, clever humor. Danny DeVito was fantastic. He cracked me up. Um, I, I, like I said, I love Danny DeVito. Uh, the whole cast was great. That, honestly, they were all, they, they all worked great together. Jamie Lee Curtis had a small role. She wasn't in it that much. I mean, if you guys don't know, Jamie Lee Curtis is Madame Leota, but um, I loved it. It was definitely a good movie. If you like The Haunted Mansion, I'm sure you're gonna love this movie. I mean, I was, like I said, I was pointing out things left and right, all the Easter eggs. So uh, now that we talked about it, and also I love how they gave a backstory to both Haunted Mansions. Like they literally, d they showed Disneyland's Haunted Mansion and Disney World's Haunted Mansion. Two different uh, mansions, owned by two different people and they actually the Walt Disney World mansion is owned by the Hatbox Ghost himself. Isn't that cool? Inside the movie. So it kind of makes sense now where the placement was because I mean if that's his house and that's his mansion I mean he doesn't need to be summoned by Madame Leota. He's just there. That's that's my thinking. But okay enough of the Haunted Mansion. Let's get into the haul of all the Halloween things I bought. I spent a lot of money. I did. I, but I'm so excited. I love Halloween. I literally have pumpkins in my house all year round. I'm literally staring at a pumpkin right now that's been sitting on my stove that says welcome friends for a long time and I have pumpkins everywhere so I'm decorating now. I ended up getting this little Halloween decoration. It says try me. Oh try me. Oh look it lights up. That's kind of cool. I had to get this one. I was so excited and uh, it was... $44.99. $44.99, you don't say. I got the Haunted Mansion hat, which I like a lot. That one was super cheap. It was only like $25.99. And then we've already talked about the sign here. I got the sign. Oh, I better shut that off or I'm going to lose uh, my batteries there. The little switches on the back here. There we go. There we go. And this one was kind of affordable too. $44.99. Actually, no. I think $44.99 is a little bit too high for that. But I like it, so it's good to me. And uh, what else did I get? Oh, I had to get the, the tumbler. I got the tumbler, you know. Had to carry that around with me. There's something else in there, I thought. Did I get something else? I guess not. I guess all I got was this big, gigantic pumpkin, which it lights up too. Let me see if I can pick this up one-handed. Ooh, this is, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm causing a ruckus here. Hey, how did I get it dirty already? What the heck? I'm gonna have to scrub that out. Okay, here we go. Come on. You raise me up so I can climb on mountains. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? And it lights up too somehow. Let me see. I'll try to flip it over. There we go. Ooh, oh, oh boy. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh boy. I wonder if Gracie's going to like this. I'm afraid. 
This was the best $70 I think I've ever spent. I had to put it in this corner here because it lights up and I wanted to show you. Oh, here comes Gracie, girl. Gracie, I don't think she noticed the big pumpkin yet. No, you haven't. I'm gonna move out of the way so you can see it. Look this way. Look, the pumpkin's over here. Did she spot it yet? She hasn't even spotted it yet. Gracie, what's that? She doesn't even care. You don't even care, do you? You like Mickey pumpkins, huh? You like Mickey pumpkins. Here, look at this guy. Oh, too loud. Look at him. <laughs> Gracie, you like Mickey pumpkins, huh? I thought she was gonna be afraid. She's afraid. She's out of here. <laughs> She's leaving. <laughs> Gracie got so upset she ran to the bedroom and locked herself in her room. <laughs> she loves this little closet. This is her little bedroom where her, one of her multiple dog beds is. Look at her. She's just like sitting in here. What are you doing? It's just a little pumpkin. It's just a little hocus pocus. Nothing to be afraid of. All right. Well, I'll let you go. Have fun. I literally just sounded like my mom talking on the phone. All right, I'll let you go, have fun. Nice talking to you, but I was talking to Gracie, crazy. All right, enough of the pumpkin business. Gracie is not a fan, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna keep it downstairs and uh, not have it upstairs. I'll keep it downstairs like as a decoration. And I think I'm, I'm kind of excited. I like the way it looks. Maybe I'll show you guys in the next video where I put it uh, because usually I like to show, uh, you know, Gracie hanging out at the top of the steps. So I'm gonna put it down in my, my foyer, in my foyer. And uh, now I wanted to talk about uh, uh, my uh, videos, like my schedule, things that I'm going to be doing, the future. I'm very excited. I've got a lot of really cool trips planned and uh, also the lack of videos that I have not been putting out. I know I've been, like I said, I haven't been putting out as many videos as I normally do and a lot of that has to do with the heat and Florida. Uh, I know that uh, it is super hot out and I've been traveling a lot. I've been traveling so much and it's so amazing. I love it. But the reason I've been picking this time to travel is because I thought it was a perfect time to travel. You know what I mean? I, I thought it would be cool to go explore around and check out some cool states and cities while it is super hot here in Florida. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it, 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 it it's nice to get away from Florida during the summertime. It gets crucial down. It gets so hot. And this was the hottest 4th of July ever. We can literally say that. 2023 was the hottest 4th of July in Florida. And uh, speaking of places that uh, I'm going to be going, I'm going to be going to Boston. I'll be going to Boston tomorrow. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I'll be at uh, Boston tomorrow. I'll be going to Fenway to see Fall Out Boy, Four Years Strong, Bring Me the Horizon, and then I will be at the Boston Fan Expo. So I think my dates are like 8 2 so like the second to the fifth. And if you guys wanna come to the Boston Fan Expo or if you're at the Boston Fan Expo and you wanna come say hi, uh, just follow my Instagram because I'm gonna be posting times I'm gonna be at the Fan Expo at the Roosevelt's booth uh, so that you guys can come by and say hi. And then after Boston, two weeks after, I'm going to Canada. I'm going to Toronto, I'm going to Canada for the very first time and I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go to Canada and you know, it's kind of funny because Canada is really close to Pennsylvania and I've always wanted to go to Niagara Falls and I was never able to. I never went. I don't know why I never did the things that I am doing now when I was younger, but I'm glad that I'm doing them now. I'm glad that I'm out there seeing the world and living my dream because I've always just, I just, I, I've always just wanted to travel. So. I'm doing that. I'm literally doing what I always wanted to do. And I love that I get to bring you guys along with me. So I have Boston, I have Toronto, I have Salem. We're gonna be doing Salem down the road. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna be back in Florida making videos in the parks and then moving along. I know you guys love to see the Disney content and I love going to Disney. I mean, this is my home. Um, but I do like showing you guys uh, like other cities and stuff like that. I think it's awesome to bring uh, the way that I, you know, kind of have fun and uh, bring it like the way that I make my videos and have fun. I want to do that in other 
places and I hope that you guys enjoy them. A lot of you guys do. I'm so shocked. I'm so like just happy with the overall support and how much people actually watch like sometimes when I go to places that really aren't like you know popular i really i appreciate you guys i really appreciate you guys you're you're fantastic and i really I, i'm just so happy that i get to make videos that you guys get to enjoy and watch like making other people happy is like the biggest thing for me like I, honestly i'm one of those guys that if i go out i've got to be like hey what do you want to do let's do this let's do this like you know what i mean and i like doing that i like being able to take people to do things for the first time whether it be ride rides in disney or go explore a new city and capturing it on video and posting it for you guys to enjoy so we have a lot to do and it's gonna be fun and then we're gonna be rolling right into the Halloween season so that means Halloween Horror Nights that means Mickey's not so scary Halloween party possibly Oogie Boogie Bash in California if I can get a ticket they sold out they I didn't even I didn't even try they sold out so fast and I never even attempted it so I'm gonna see if I can get a ticket uh, I know sometimes they have day off or they have you know cancels like if people cancel their tickets and then you get refunded I think it goes back in the system so I'll keep checking but a lot of Halloween stuff and then I'm booked up for December or well, for Christmas time I've got Mickey's very Merry Christmas party Jollywood I'll be at all those events and it's gonna be amazing Amazing. So I'm I just wanted to I don't know I feel like it's been a while since we sat down and chatted I'm sorry. I haven't been posting more videos, but now you guys know uh, Just leave me a comment. I'll read through them. You know what I mean? I love I love hearing uh, from you guys You know, I love hearing from you and knowing exactly what you like and uh, Yeah, so we'll we'll be back on the uh, normal schedule with Disney once uh, the summertime ends and it's not so crazy hot out But in the meantime, I'm gonna Go explore the world and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. But anywho, I hope you enjoyed the videos. I enjoyed making it and it was nice to sit down and chit chat. So we'll see you next time. Bye!